She blinded me with science! Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Trading Card Video Game. Last time, we defeated Clubmaster Rick up here. Pretty handily, too. And then we ended the episode. We built a new deck, and then we ended the episode. This time, we are going to test the deck for the first time against the members of the Lightning Club. Remember this smooth jazz? Aww. Anyway, now, this guy is probably the easiest of the three, and these two, I'd say they're on par with each other. So let's start with this guy. Lightning Pokemon are the toughest Pokemon want to duel me. Boom Boom Self-Destruct Deck. Now, usually, as long as you have resistance to electric, you should be fine here. We don't have much resistance to electric in this deck, but we should still be fine. We got this. That's resistance. Yeah. So, you know... Ah, perfect. I'd say we're a good hand now. We've got a handle on the situation, huh? No need to leer here, really. There's no way he gets Geodude up two energies in one turn. Because Stone Barrage requires a fighting and an energy of any color. So, yeah. Let's see what we get. Another Rhyhorn. That's pretty good. Now, I'm gonna put this Fire Energy on Rhyhorn in preparation for Leer. I mean, Horn Attack. Um, if I remember correctly, Rhydon only requires two fighting energies and two of any color for its strongest attack, which is... Ram. Uh, yeah, so. This is perfectly reasonable to do. Let's go. Man, you know, this deck. I do settle, agree with the name of the overrated deck. Because, man, Charizard is overrated. I mean, Charizard's cool and all. It's my least favorite of the three Kanto starters. But that makes it sound worse than it really is. I like all three of the Kanto starters. I think Charizard's a cool Pokemon. And it's got, like, really cool Mega Evolutions. And I don't like its G-Max form. I think its G-Max form looks kind of weird. Um, so I'm not the biggest fan of the G-Max form, but besides that, Charizard's a cool Pokemon. It's fast. What I don't like is how they... it's overrated. Something, if you don't know this, um, speaking of, Charizard... Typhlosion. Typhlosion's a cool Pokemon. Um, my favorite starter line in general is the Johto starters, because my first... probably my first game was Crystal, that's why. And even though my preferred starter that game is Chikorita, um, I like Typhlosion and Feraligator a lot. Typhlosion, though, it has the exact same base stats as Charizard. That's just ridiculous. Wait. Holy crap, did we just win? <laughs> well, nice. Ooh, give us the good Magneton. Damn. Oh! Oh, no, 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 that's good. That's good. Coliseum has got a lot of good cards in it. Raichu's okay, but I do see Professor Oak. And the good Magnemite, but I think I have like 10 of those Magnemites. Man, I love this song. It's so short, but it's just so good. This guy's a pain. So the big problem with this guy is that, he, I don't know how, he's really good at getting electric energy. He's on his Zapdos. And um, Zapdos is resist fighting, which is a big problem. That's why I didn't try, when I'm building this deck for specifically this guy, definitely. Um, in all honesty, when I built this deck, I didn't really have a person in mind for it to counter. It doesn't really counter anybody. Um, it would counter a steel deck, I guess. <laughs> Those don't exist. Um, but I didn't really have anyone in mind to counter this deck for. I kind of just built it. Because I didn't have good electric types yet. Now that I have two Electabuzz and I have one of the good Magnetons from last episode, I think I'm ready to build an electric deck. I'll probably mix it with water. I think I've done all the other types. Anyway. Um, yeah. So, fire, it's just weird. Fire can do a lot of damage in this game. And that's something that I really like about this game in general, is that all the types seem to have their thing. Well, sort of. Not really electricity and rock or fighting, or electricity, fighting, and psychic, but the other three have their own. Fire is a lot of burn, and you deal high damage, but I don't know why I called it burn. I don't really have a name for it. 
Fire has a lot of high damage, but it requires you to discard a lot. Water is a lot about high damage from using a lot of water energies and using Blastoise to help build up those energies. And Grass is just about... Grass isn't that unique. Much as I love Grass. I guess it's about status. There's a lot of status in Grass, but there's also some in... I'm about to lose, by the way. Actually, no. We got a chance. I probably should not put Tash the energy. But that's fine. Aw, oh, yes! We're in the clear. Oh yeah, I definitely shouldn't have attached the energy that turn. But we are so in the clear now. Especially if we get a confusion off. Good. Oh wait, we already did. I'm kinda just talking. Um, I'm in a good mood right now. I just did- I took a break. I've been record I was recording for a good few hours earlier. And after my thrilling victory with, um, um, Rick. I was like, man, I'm in a good mood. I should go do some chores. Yeah, I know, right? No, I decided to do them before somebody came and bothered me about it today. It was nice to get outside and play with the dogs for a bit. So I'm just in a good mood, and I'm ready to keep playing more of this game. God damn, I just love this gust of wind. Let's go! Pikachu, despite being not weak to fighting, is weak to fighting. Man, I think we got pretty lucky this time. Has he got Zapdos yet? No. He might just win right here. What does he have in the back? Eevee, Pikachu. Let's just keep attacking. I put my... Oh, I already had Eevee on the bench. Oh, yeah, well. And I should have put the fire energy on back, Mark. See, I'm not playing that well. But I'm having fun. I hope you all are having fun, too. I hope this series does at least a little bit. Well, um... Fun fact, I, was, I did Let's Plays about six years ago. Six or seven years ago. They suck, and they are now unlisted. And my most popular Let's Play was my... Um... Was my Fossil Fighters Champions Let's Play. That game is fantastic, and not enough people care about it, despite it being pretty easy. Um, we might die here. Damn. And that first episode got 127 views on my last check. And again, they're unlisted, so it's not getting any more. Um, and I averaged around like 60 views on that Let's Play, which doesn't sound much. It really isn't. But like for a guy that was recording off his phone in the dark of his old room, with the windows closed, you know, I was pretty proud of it. I, I made another wrong play. I'm just talking. Had fun. We're flirting with the other Eevee there. Yeah, so hopefully this channel does. I want to help this channel grow. I got good friends here. Hopefully some of them are listening. Hi, Jason. Um, oh, I just... I thought I backed out. Whoops. Well, <laughs> I'm really not playing well right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. At least it's not like the Challenge Cup. I'd say it's on par with that, really. I don't want him building up his army. Plus... We're actually pretty even in the game right now. Ooh, got a bill. Oh no. Oh no. How much damage is that? 30? Yeah. Alright. I guess electricity has a lot of self-harm. But specifically with Raichu and, um... With Raichu and Zapdos. And Pikachu. Come on. Come on! We win. Oh, come on. Aw, oh, I wanted it to go on forever. I've had three lines filled on that. It was hilarious. There we go. Wow. Man, this deck, it hasn't lost yet. It's just too good. <laughs> oh, Wigglytuff, this card is amazing. Do the wave. It's so good. It's so good. Look at that. Ten more damage. Ten damage plus ten for each of your bench Pokemon. I can do up to 60. It's just really good. Another pincer. Alright. Now this deck is annoying more than hard. I don't know what I'm doing on this. Yeah, Pikachu's cute. You aren't. You're not my type. Look like a female Ash. With red cheeks. Alright, what do I do here? Oh, we got this Magmar. We'll leave this Magmar. I was hoping we'd have another of the 
basic set with fire punch and flamethrower. Oh no. Okay, Hitmonlee, that's pretty good, but I need to get my Magmar going. Hitmonlee won't be that useful. It's not as powerful as Hitmonchan. It can do 50 damage with 3 energy, but it has to all be fighting. Big enough fighting energy. Oh, I'm glad I shuffled that up. That. Those next two cards weren't looking very useful. Other than the energy, of course. The energy is always good to draw. But I'd rather draw Energy Search just so I get two cards out of my deck for the price of one. Anything to increase my draw. Now, Serving Pikachu could do a lot of damage. Thankfully, um, one. Damn. Thankfully, Serving Pikachu isn't going to count as a water type. It's still an electric type, as you can see by its name. But we shouldn't have to worry about that. Ah! Oh wait, no, that's me. Okay, good. Ah, Paraflip. I don't want to deal with Paraflip. Okay, we got Stretch Kick online. There we go, Serving Pikachu is dead. What do you mean it's dead? Oh no, it's poison! Ah! No, Pikachu, why? Oh, Flying Pikachu. Flying Pikachu is why this deck is so annoying. Oh my god. I'll show you. So, Flying Pikachu. Where is it? It resists fighting. Right? That sucks. It resists fighting and fly. Flip a coin of heads during your opponent's next turn. Perfect. All effects of attacks, including damage. Remember Fero's move? Agility? It's basically that. It's just... Oh my god, this Pikachu is annoying. It also has a Paraflip move. Thankfully, we've got Hitmonlee online, which is really good. But I don't want to retreat, so we're going to stay in. Poison's really nice there. Oh. Well, it was really nice. Air flip. Damn. Can't succeed on every call. Already. Uh, Vaporeon should be in this deck. I wonder why I made it put it in this deck. And, uh, this deck was only meant for the Electric Club. Definitely not the Fire Club. I, I don't know what you guys thought. I never even saw Ken. Who's Ken? I never fought him. Come uh, on, succeed on the Paraflip. Or fail on the Paraflip. I like that name. Paraflip. Damn. That's fine. We lose Magmar. It's okay. Hopefully we draw something better. Uh, where... Oh, no, no, there it is. What's that about? Because she does have Raichu in this deck. I don't remember her having Raichu. I don't remember if she had Raichu in this deck or not. She's probably going to switch over to Flying Pikachu if I send in Hitmonlee, which sucks, but whatever. Is Flying Pikachu online? Just as Paraflip right now. So our Serpent Pikachu weak to fighting? I might? Nah, I don't. I take too much damage from this Pikachu. Yeah, Flying Pikachu's out. I just got another one. Thankfully, I will be able to knock it out in two hits, even with the resistance. If I get those two hits off, is the real question. Yep. <laughs> Alright. Actually, Hitmonlee is pretty good at dealing with this. It's, it's got that 50 power out of the game. Ooh, that's nice. With high jump kick, even though it's resistance, it's cutting all that damage. It's pretty high power. If you don't have a strong hitting fighting type, you're not getting past the flying Pikachus with fighting at all. Um, you'll have to bring in some other type coverage. 
and you just have to hope they don't keep succeeding on fly. I've had times where I've lost this person just because they keep succeeding on fly, and it's really obnoxious. Thankfully, I think we are in the clear now. Depends on how they succeed on the pair of flip here. Oh wait, they might not have energy. Yep, we're good. We are doing pretty well. I'm, this run is going pretty smooth. I haven't had many major roadblocks. Hopefully, um, Isaac goes down without a hitch. There we go. Does she also get Coliseum? I feel like she would. No, why not? Well, I'm not going to complain. Come on, Tratini. Damn it. I don't know, I can talk. I like the Zapdos guard art. Energy removal is always really good. Come on, Dratini. Yes! Look how cute this card is. Look at how cute this Dratini is. I love it. Long considered a mythical Pokemon until recently when a small colony was found living underwater. That's a... I like Chubby Raichu here. Another double colorless. Pokemon Center. Remove all damage counters from all... All of your own Pokemon with damage counters on them to discard all energy cards attached to those Pokemon. It has its use? I'll give it that. It has its use. I don't like it because I don't like removing my own energy. Apparently it was really good with Stall Lickitung in real life. Oh, Dratini is so cute. I'm not adding you to the deck till I have a few more of them. I want to, though. Alrighty, I guess it's time to take down Isaac. Eh, we don't need to mess with the deck. Sure! Let's go. Oh, look at how cool this guy is. He has sunglasses. Zapping self-destruct deck. His ace, if I remember correctly, is Electrode. Or Magneton. Or both. Did I see Charmander there? Is that all I have? No, I also have Kangaskhan. Probably should have left Kangaskhan. Oh well. We all make mistakes. I just make them a lot more often. Good. Good fire energy. He's got Paraflip on that Electabuzz with Thunder Shock, and then Thunder Punch is just really strong. So that sucks, but whatever. Alright. Thankfully, really I got the energy removal, and he failed at the Paraflip. Next turn, I'll also have Slash coming from our Charmeleon, which does. 30 damage, which is a lot. That's why I'm not using Ember. Ember discards the fire energy. That's why I'm not a big fan of the fire types, or the in this game. There are a few good ones. I like Arcanine, I like the Ponyta line in this game. Ponyta and Rapidash are pretty good. That's fine, I can be paralyzed. Once you evolve a Pokemon, it removes a status effect attached to it. Now I can Flamethrower it here, and then Energy Retrieval next turn. My energy's back. I think I'm gonna do that. Right now, Electabuzz is by far his biggest threat. I love Voltorb, but Voltorb isn't really a threat. Because it doesn't have Paraflip like Electabuzz does. Well, I guess for once in a life, this is when fire comes in handy. To burn through a deck. Like, literally. For instance, if he doesn't draw another basic Pokemon, he loses here. He drew another basic Pokemon. But this is when I can see fire being useful. If you want to do massive damage over and over and you can keep supplying the energy. The problem is, all that time I'm supplying energy to Charmeleon, I'm not supplying to the rest of my team. So if I lose Charmeleon by like a plus power or an explosion, I'm kind of in a hole. Thankfully I have Kangaskong in back. That's why I wanted Kangaskong in this deck. It's because um, Kangaskong can take a lot of hits and it helps me gather cards. And it's also why I put Energy Retrieval in the deck. Energy Retrieval is, in my opinion, crucial for fire decks in this game. Because you just discard one card and get two energy back from the discard. And when you're discarding so many energy, it's vital. Now, sadly, it looks like he drew Professor Oak. But I'm going to try to take advantage of this. Oh, crap. I don't want him to build up these Electabuzz. I'm not going to use Slash on the Flamethrower yet. Actually, I will. I will use Flamethrower now. I attached the Fighting Energy. Because I don't want to waste all my Fire Energies when I have them. I still have Ponyta in the back. Okay. That's fine. I need another one though here. Where's the 
shame. We're almost there, but he's probably gonna blow up here. Yep. So that's the problem. Now I'm in a... Alright, so we are in a little bit of bind here. Losing Charmeleon, and Charmeleon used up a lot of energies. I'm just going to show you guys how many energies this Charmeleon used. It might not actually be that much because I used um, Energy Retrieval. All these energies were from Charmeleon. Charmeleon took up 5 energies. That's just why I'm not a biggest fan of Fire decks. They can be good. They can also be incredibly risky. Thankfully I've got a Rhyhorn. Which will be very useful. But I think this Electrode has an attack that ignores resistance. Yeah. It also ignores weakness. So you can't really bring it to water. I didn't expect it to do that much. Wow, wow, wow. We should be good though. I think I only have to beat one more Pokemon. Yeah. So let's start getting Rhyhorn online. Hopefully I'll draw a double colorless energy. And that'll just let me one-shot this Electrode and be done with it. Oh. Well, it'll still get one shot. One more turn, and we win. Depending on what happens. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. We should be good to go. And that's it. There we go, folks. We took down the entirety of the Electric Club in 20 minutes. 20 minutes. No problems. Now, I think we will have to battle Ronald here. It's either now or after the sixth battle. Hey, Dratini! Oh, thank god, I got a Lapras. That's really good for water decks. It's just so tanky, and, and it can do a decent amount of damage. It's a great basic Pokemon to lead off with. I got the cool colorless um, evolutions. And Dratini. Damn. Got Tauros, though. Another energy removal, too. Alright, guys, I hope you're ready. Time for another fight with Ronald. Now, if I beat Ronald here, he has an amazing card to get me. The powerful Ronald deck! Guys, it's a powerful Ronald deck. What are we gonna do? Now, the, I am worried, because, again, he's really, really strong. I'm gonna leave with Charmander. Hopefully I draw Fighting Energy. Thankfully I've hit my hand in the back. But if I beat him, I get either Super Energy Removal or Super Energy Retrieval. Both of those would be really good. Aw, oh, I really want my hit my channel online. It looks like he's doing the same thing I am. Let's get some basic damage out. Ronald's decks are just so good. I don't know how he does it with three different types of energy. Sucks to lose an energy like that. If he does it again, I'll energy retrieval. I'll probably discard the Charizard. Since there's like no point in using Charizard. I can switch out now, but I wouldn't be able to Oko the Let's Buzz. And I don't want Hitmonchan taking damage until he needs to. Okay, we're good. He's out of energy. He's running a heavy basic Pokemon offense. Now that Hitmonchan is annoying. It's not good for me at all. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna try to keep Charmander in as long as I can. Yeah, he doesn't have any more energy to play at the moment. So we're in a good spot. I want him to get that Hitmonchan out so I can so we can fight off with ours, mine. So hopefully mine will win in a 1v1. Ah, oh, he's got Lickitung. Good. We are in a good spot, though. Sucks having to use up all this energy, but it's fine. This will put our Hitmonchan in a lead when we battle it, each other. Yep, he's gonna knock me out right here. That sucks. Hopefully I draw a fighting energy here, because if not, he's gonna get special punches out. Professor Oak. Well, basically a fire. Mm, I guess this wasn't the best play. Either way, it's a play. 
Oh yeah, this was a bad play. Whoops. I mean, it wasn't really a play at all. I I didn't gain or lose anything from it. I would have discarded that card anyway. Thank God. I was worried for a moment. Let's put an Eevee out. Magmar. I think that's most of it. Okay, let's go. I think we're doing good here. I think we're in a situation in the lead. This deck probably also has a Scyther in it, since he's running a heavy um, offense with basic Pokemon. I would be very surprised if he didn't have Scyther in it. This is terrible. That's a lot of damage. Oh, but this is a great card for me to go on. Another special punch out. He can't get Meditate with Jinx this turn, so he just needs to miss one of these. Okay, Hitmonchan's still in the game. That's good. We're keeping our card lead and we're expanding it. Oh, crap. That was the wrong move. Sorry, guys. That was a bad play on my part. Okay. Oh no, I lost Hitmonchan before Lickitung. That sucks. It's okay, I still have Rhyhorn. What did he discard? Did he discard my double colorless? He did. Jerk. Oh. I need another fire energy. What would be ideal is to draw energy retrieval right now. If I can draw energy retrieval, I can get my fire and fighting energy back, which would be perfect. Gust of Wind is also kind of good. I'm going to force him to switch out to Kingston. I know this is going to give him a lot of draw, and that sucks. But at the same time, it keeps me from taking damage, but he is going to get all the energy he's been missing. That's pretty good. I get a fighting energy for Rhyhorn. Yeah, he's getting a lot of draw now. But I honestly don't think that's the best I could do because this is the... It's going to be hard for him to get um, energy on this Kangaskhan. And I'm going to be able to knock it out. Preferably. What does he have? Okay, I'm going to switch over to Mewtwo. I'm going to start taking this guy out. Again, we're still keeping our card lead on him. Our prize card lead. I have three, he has four, and if we keep going by this give and take, I will eventually overtake him. What I mean by that is, I knock out a, he knocks out a Pokemon, I knock out a Pokemon. We'd be at three, two. I hope that makes sense. Maybe. All right, but now I've expanded my card lead by two. Okay, that's not good. Who are you guys winning to? Vaporeon. Yeah. Okay, I think we live this. Or is it... Nope, nope, it does 30 to 40. Yeesh, Electabuzz is an incredibly strong card. That's why I was really happy to get one. Another one. Either way, it's gone now. We just need to knock out one more Pokemon. And he sends in Lickitung. I don't know why. He's probably going for the Paraflip. But he misses it. That leaves us in a really good spot. If I draw, draw right on here, I might win? Alright. <clears throat> 60 damage out there. Next time he misses Paraflip, I win. Or he can switch. Alright, I don't think this is the best of Ronald's decks. I honestly think his best deck is probably his first one, maybe his second. The Challenge Zone one being the second. Wow, he's playing pretty smart. Trying to keep himself as alive as long as possible. But I can't let that happen. There we go. Born attack. This is really good. The card we get from him is super good. And we win. Awesome. Guys, we took down our rival, Ronald. I'd say overall, this has been a pretty good episode. We took down a Clubmaster. We've taken down Ronald. Got a bunch of cards. And we got Super Energy Retrieval. Admittedly, this is the one I was hoping for. 
discard two cards and get four basic energy cards back from your discard. It's so good for fire decks, so if we continue to build a fire deck, it will be really good. However, fire deck. There's only three clubs left, and neither of the, none of them are weak to fire. Only one club is weak to fire, really. Well, you're still going to be last. Next time, we will be taking down the Psychic Club Master, whatever the flip his name is, Murray. No, not yet. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.